the mobility of salt in sedimentary basins is fundamentally linked to the deposition of other strata above and adjacent to these salt formations. And we can have a look at this in a set of animations. So let's start off with some salt on the seabed. And sedimentation occurs across this salt layer and these sediments load the salt and the salt flows. Natural variations in the distribution of sediments across the salt body together with variations in the viscosity, the flowability of the salt from place to place will generate preferred places to amplify loads and these will be places where substance can occur further like this and the salt makes a bulge against which further sediment onlaps like this building up sequences of strata these are called halokinetic sequences halo from salt kinetic meaning movement so these are growth strata synkinematic strata deposited as the salt deforms like this So let's look at this. Each package of sediment onlaps the previous one where it's been tilted as it approaches the salt body and may onlap right up onto the salt itself. And we can see here, so we can see this upper one here in this light tan colour, which is bulged a bit, has onlapped the salt body and the underlying um, orangey unit beneath. And this one similarly on the yellow underneath, the yellow one onto the orange and the orange itself onto the salt. So this is an example of positive feedback where the initial deformation of the salt will amplify the downgoing places, receive more sediment, which acts to provide further load on the salt, which drives it out from underneath. This process is generally referred to as downbuilding. The sedimentation drives out salt from beneath those areas where the sedimentation is occurring and forces it, therefore, into other areas where there's less sedimentation and these amplify to make a salt dome. The margins around the salt dome generally referred to as rim synclines or withdrawal basins or mini basins. And the critical geometries for understanding these processes lie on the flanks of the salt dome itself. Now this traditionally has been problematic because seismic imaging of these places is exceptionally difficult and requires special processing or even acquisition strategies. These areas can also be important because onlaps and pinch outs can have specific fasces which may be targeted if you're interested in tracking hydrocarbon reservoirs. So these are halokinetic sequences. The salt dome is driven by downbuilding. The sedimentation drives out salt from below and forces it into an area that can amplify into a salt dome. And these domes localize where the salt has been less buried. Successive sediment packages, the halokinetic sequences, lap onto the flanks of the salt dome and onto the just deposited strata, creating stratigraphic relationships that we've cartooned up here.